Hello, I'm Sam. This is my documentary about the RMI. Uh, the first part is the description of the key terms. So there's position detail, which is description of the concerned role of the applicant's job. Department, the area of operations in which the applicant may work in. Hours, the duration of the applicant's shifts if they manage to get the job. Grade slash salary, the amount of money the applicant has paid for their labour. Reporting department, reporting slash department details, the operations which take place in the department, how they are run. <coughs> responsible to, someone who is responsible for a specific area of work. Job purpose, what attributes and employment of the applicant to bring to the firm. Main tasks, the things that the applicant will predominantly be performing during their job. Additional duties, side tasks that are carried out, compiled by the people who create the job description. Date, the date in which the job description was finished being created. Uh, part two is the person speci specification key terms. Attribute, a good trait that the applicant brings. Essential, a requirement. Desirable, the job will be more suited to you if you carry these attributes. Method of assessment, different ways to see if an applicant meets standards. Experience, how much experience of work one has gained. Practical skills, skills that involve physical strengths. Communication, attributes of personal assets regarding communications. Personal qualities, which is always a positive attribute about oneself, an individual. Knowledge, how much information somebody has about a specific subject. Technology slash IT skills, skills regarding information technology and computers. Education and training, programs to give you education in the job. Equal opportunities, uh, the Equality Act ensures there will be no discrimination between applicants regarding gender, race, age, etc. Physical, uh, physical requirements and attributes. Uh, part three, the application form, the key terms. Post applied for, what specific job you applied for. Personal details, personal information like phone number, address, date of birth, employment history who your previous employers were, previous employment, or specific job you performed in your last employment, education, training, and development, awards and certificates obtained and courses taken, supporting statement, cover letter, additional information, extra information, perhaps medical, which you feel is necessary for your employers to know. Next part is the person's specification. I'm only gonna be reading out a few of these. So, uh, for experience, it's essential. You have to have spent 3,000 hours working out in a gym as training, previous supervisory and training experience. Uh, and what's desirable is to be from a maritime profession previously. Communication, to be able to speak fluent English, is essential. And desirable is to be multilingual, perhaps to be able to speak other indigenous British languages like Welsh or Scottish Gaelic. Uh, strategic thinking is to be able to keep calm in stressful situations and to be able to work without panicking, which is essential. And what is desirable is to be a proactive thinker and try to save time when in the critical moments that matter. Physical requirements are essential. To be able to swim 200 metres in under three and a half minutes and run 200 metres on sand in under 40 seconds. Uh, <coughs> also an eyesight test. And what's desirable is to have a passion in fitness and being keen to always improve physical capacity. This next part is a skills audit. I'm again only going to read a few of these. Planning, I, I rate myself a three because well, my errors of improvement is when planning, expect things to not go to plan and essentially be able to have a plan B and be able to improvise. And a technique for improvement is to be proactive in planning and avoid panic. Uh, organization, I rate myself two. Uh, area 
area of improvement, knowing where documents and things are and from when they were given, and techniques of improvement as classifying and sorting documents into files. Uh, time management, three. Uh, my area of improvement is to have a better awareness of time and punctuality. My technique for improvement is to always pay attention to it. I rate myself at two. I would say I have a relatively short temper and get frustrated easily at people. That's an area of improvement and a technique for improvement is to keep things to myself more and act in a more professional manner. Uh, and self-motivation, I give myself a two. Sometimes an area of improvement is sometimes I lack motivation and require incentive or inspiration to do things. My technique for improvement is to have a role model and try and inspire myself by watching inspiring videos, perhaps on YouTube. So, in the description of the skills slash attributes required of an applicant for the post of the RMI, experience, many, many maritime experience, which is experience at sea, and one out of ten applicants have this. Practical skills, to be able to take control or handle scenarios on a boat where you need, need to use equipment or perform certain manoeuvres. Communication, to be able to speak fluent English but being able to speak other common languages in the British Isles would also be helpful. Personal qualities, to be completely professional and to put prejudices, political and social views aside and seeing other people's lives. Strategic thinking, being able to plan quickly and efficiently. Technology slash IT skills, to be familiar with navigation and database systems used by the RNLI, such as GPS. Education and training, an IOS lifeguard, life-saving qualification, and to have completed a first aid course. Equal opportunities, if they fit all the other criteria, they must have the same opportunities to gain a certain role in RNLI. Otherwise, it goes against the 2010 Equality Act, which is illegal here and against it. And physical to be able to swim 200 metres in under three and a half minutes, to be able to run 200 metres and stand in under 40 seconds. Also, canvas must have an eyesight test. Uh, for each physical resource, describe in your own words what they are and what resources the RMLI will need. Uh, buildings and facilities, they need places and assets that are of use to the RNLI in which there are many of their equipment is stored and taken for use. The RNLI need lifeboat stations where the lifeboats are kept, along with other equipment like helmets, life jackets and also food and drink perhaps. They also need research centres where the innovation projects will take place in order to try and make their service more efficient for the future. Materials and waste. Uh, the RMI would need gloves, needles, oxygen tanks, fire extinguisher, oxygen masks, fuel, uh, general first aid medication and supplies. Plant and machinery. Uh, uh, they need D-class inshore lifeboats, uh, trailers, tractors and inshore boats. Equipment including IT, they need GoPros, GPS, satellite phones, uh, VHR radio, pages, alarms, sonar, and cameras. Plant maintenance and refurbishment, they need engines, fire extinguisher, safety, medical supplies, fuel, paint, and tools. Oh, oh and also cleaning materials. For emergency provision, they need life jackets, ropes, first aid, oxygen masks, knives, gloves, a dry, dry suits, thermal coats, stretchers, blankets. For security, they need uh, alarms, locks, cameras, and CCTV, VPN and passwords, ser and servers, and firewall. And for insurance, you need public liability insurance, professional liability insurance, property insurance, workers' compensation insurance, and vehicle insurance.
Thank you very much. That was my presentation on the R and